Hello, this is Tim Hellman. This is Trevor Scandalia. And this is Movie Talk. Today we're going to review the movie Divergent. Divergent is the new big budget adaptation of the popular youth book novel about a future world where society is divided into different factions based on people's beliefs and ethics. The hero of the story is a young woman who doesn't fit into any category. So she's labeled a divergent, which makes her a threat to government and the accepted conformist way of life. It stars Charlene Woodley as the divergent heroine, and co-stars Theo James, Kate Winslet, Ashley Judd, Jai Courtney, Miles Teller, Zoe Kravitz, and Maggie Q. It was directed by Neil Berger and written by Evan Doherty and Vanessa Taylor based on the book by Veronica Roth. So what do you think of it? A lot better than I expected. It's pretty good. What do you think of Shailene Woodley? I thought she was pretty good. She looked a lot like Hayden Pinatier for like half a second. Yeah, and I thought she did a really good job. Uh, I thought especially when someone really close to her dies towards the end, I thought mm -hmm. that was a really powerful scene. Yeah, no, her, she had a couple of scenes where... Her performance where, was, yeah. Yeah, no, she had a couple scenes where she did a really good job. Um, for she a... Had um, to, be emotional and 22 year old actress she's pretty mm -hmm. good pretty good already yeah so then like all these youth book movies that had a great female cast you know Kate Winslet and Ashley Judd are mm -hmm. great actresses and then mm -hmm. the guys are lesser known and they're usually yeah. in these movies they suck I think but in this mm -hmm. one I thought they were okay I thought yeah the, they were the lead movies. guy did a pretty yeah. good job yeah um yeah, I thought in the commercials he looked horrible, but once yeah. I saw the movie, he was fine, I thought. Yeah, no, he, yeah he, was, he did a pretty good job. This guy, Jai really cool. Courtney, he played Bruce Willis' son in the last Die Hard movie. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I knew I recognized yeah. him from somewhere. And he's going to be in the new Terminator movie. He plays a good, good bad guy, yeah, he's a good, good tough guy, guy, I guess. And then there was Miles Teller. He was her rival, the asshole. Oh, okay, yeah, shipped. I've seen him in some stuff, too. Their last movie, they were lovers, so it was interesting to see yeah. them <laughs> as rivals. Yeah, I thought the whole cast was great, which was one of the best parts about it. And then, like with all these youth book adaptations, the primary audience is young females, so... Mm -hmm. They made up 60% of the opening weekend. So when I saw it, yeah, there was two really attractive girls by themselves, which was rare to see uh -huh. at a theater. I think that was cool, because... Yeah, that's cool. It's not something you should need to go with other people to, like... Yeah, I yeah, definitely. I go to see movies by myself all the time. Yeah, no, I... Yeah, <laughs> I... I haven't gotten to move myself in a while, but I definitely I saw this one by myself. Most girls I know wouldn't go mm -hmm. to a movie by themselves. They think, yeah, they think they have to have someone to go with them. And I've got a friend yeah, that yeah. said any woman that would go see a movie by herself in the theater is someone that's worth getting to know. He'd always try to get me to go talk to these girls when we see them. Yeah, no, that's, but a, that's a good point. I can't just go up to a stranger and start <laughs> talking, but yeah, it's kind of hard to break the ice. It's easier in a uh, bar. You can do that in a bar, but not in a movie theater. A lot of people have. He was kind of an older hippie, hippie type character, so that's yeah. That makes sense. I mean, if a woman's a uh, movie, by well, I definitely think they're so. probably more interesting and like yeah than they're likable people because yeah, you know, it means they've kind of they definitely got their own things they definitely got confidence. And yeah, and seem more independent <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, which is attractive. Yeah, maybe more independent. Yeah, it's and which is what. The movie is all about, you know, this strong young woman that's mm -hmm. really independent and confident. So um, what do you think about the themes? I thought the whole concept was really interesting. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I thought yeah. it was like... It's a great storyline for a sci-fi mm -hmm. movie. Yeah, it kind of had some strong themes of, like, feeling like an outcast, which is why they make it for teens, mm -hmm. I think, because a lot of teens can well, identify... Well, that's my favorite part of it, is the message about being different and unique. How yeah, they, yeah. And I, those are the heroes among yeah, us. Yeah, that's but, definitely a common theme in kind of the, the teen movies, but... The people that don't need to conform, though, are the heroes because they are the unique outsiders that right. make the world a place mm -hmm. worth living. That yeah. Which, with all the movies delivering this message, you'd think more people would see that, but I find yeah. in, I find in life people just want to fit in more than anything else. <laughs> yeah. Most people do. They don't want to be unique. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's like the movie people the whole society was based on. People want a house. They want, you know, two kids. Or whatever. Yeah. They want to yeah. blend in. I gave 4.5 stars out of 5. I thought the first hour was really good, but then I thought after about a third of the way in, it started trying to fit all the plot in. The movie was already 2, two hours and 20 minutes, mm -hmm. but it kind of felt like it was starting to get a little rushed. I'd give it maybe 3.75. Shailene Woodley is good friends with Jennifer Lawrence, and she talked her into, mm. into doing this franchise because of the oh, yeah. help her career. 
people are already trying to label her the next Jennifer Lawrence, which mm -hmm. I think it's stupid to do stuff like that. But yeah, I mean Jennifer Lawrence can definitely is see like a, a Oscar nominated a correlation between them. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence, she's yeah, she's obviously. But I mean, Shailene really Woodley could still do that. She's a year younger. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and yeah, but Jennifer Lawrence, yeah, she definitely had some acting chops. She was in Winter's Bone, I think. And that was a pretty and impressive. This movie. girl is in Spectacular now. Okay, I haven't seen that one, but maybe it's also really good.